Hi, everybody. Nate Eaton here with EastIdahoNews.com, backstage with David Archuleta. You just wrapped up a tour. How was it? It was awesome. I loved it. I went, I did a couple shows in Idaho as well. Idaho Falls, Boise. So. Sold out shows, by the way, in oh. Idaho Falls at least. <laughs> uh, yeah. What is it about touring that, that fulfills you? What, what's your favorite part about touring? I love getting to watch people's reaction to the music in person. Like, I work hard to make sure, like, the music, okay, make it as best as I can, give a, try to put messages in there, but to be able to watch people experience it is really cool. Because, like, you see them having a fun time, but sometimes, like, if it's a, a more, like, deep song, like, you see it kind of, the wheels in people's heads start turning and, like, them processing it, and I just... I think it's awesome. I'm like, I hope it's doing something good for them. So. And you not only perform, but you also write, don't you? Don't you compose? I do, yeah. I, um, yes. You do, I do. Some, some of your own songs. Yeah, I, I'm involved with all the music that, I mean, everything that I release now, I, I, I co-write at least. Wow. So um, I usually like to get a couple of other people involved because I feel like I, I have a hard time finishing things. I can get like a verse and a chorus and a melody and then I'm like, I can't finish this, but... Um, Teamwork is always, I feel like something great can come when you put a bunch of heads together because new things are created that you wouldn't have had on your own. What do you do when you get writer's block? Or is there is some escape you go to to kind of recharge and get your brain moving again? Writer's block. I will usually, <laughs> I don't think I handle it very well. I'll play like a game. <laughs> a video I'll game? Like, I'll, t I'll call one of my, my sisters uh, just to get the frustration out. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, or like go on a walk, uh, I Those might get something things. to eat, just to kind of get my mind off of what I'm overthinking. Usually my writer's block comes from overthinking something. Mm -hmm. So if I can like stop thinking so much about it, if I come back with a fresh mind, it's like, oh, oh, this is not too bad. You got new music coming out? I do, I, I um, the last thing I did was a Christmas album, but I'll be releasing a little bit more of Christmas stuff this year. But before that, I will be releasing some new pops pop songs as well, which I'm really excited about. So I hope, hope people like it. And uh, it's, it's, been, it's been fun doing it. It's been fun making new music, trying to still kind of have a message, but make it more fresh, more, more current, so. You've been home from your mission four years now, five years now? I've been back for five years now. And, and yeah. And can you believe it? Has, has time flown? Have you been able to go back to your mission? I haven't. It's weird, because it doesn't feel like it's been five years. It feels like it's been like three and a half. But five years is, is time flies for sure, and I, I'm hoping to go back sometime. I was gonna go this year. I don't know if I can, but I, it's it's one of my goals. I miss my Chileans, so yeah. they're they're with me. <laughs> what would you say to the young men and women out there watching that that want to be where you are? You know, that want to perform, that want to write. What what would what advice would you give them? I would just say practice, experiment, give yourself topics. If you're a writer, give yourself topics to write about, even if it's just random, like, I don't know, sitting in a chair. You can just start saying, sitting in a chair, I was thinking about this, and you are on my mind, I don't know. It can be about any, um, give yourself some exercises to stretch your mind, to stretch your creativity. And I would say collab, collaborate with other people because you learn from them. You learn from their techniques, from their style, and um, perform wherever you can. Upload, upload content, upload covers, just to just get yourself comfortable engaging with an audience and connecting with people. Even if it's baby announcement, Taylor Swift videos. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I'll collaborate with you next time if we have an announcement. <laughs> okay, okay. If, if we're on, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, last question, because this is Idaho. How do you like your potatoes? How do I like my potatoes? Do you like potatoes? I do like potatoes. Okay. I, I don't I like them in the little squares when breakfast potatoes. Like, I like them that like tater way. tot hash brown things. I or? do like tater tots as well. I like hash browns, but they're like the breakfast ones that are like cubed, like little yeah. cubed ones. I like that. I like French fries. I like baked potato. We just had baked potatoes last night for dinner. Nice. Uh, All right. I, I just like potatoes. All right, David Archuleta, yeah. everybody, <laughs> find out his latest announcements, new music, all of that on his Instagram channel. Uh, Twitter page as well. Anything you want to add? Um, Idaho has always shown me a lot of love, so thank you, my my neighbors. I always call them my cousins because I grew up here in Utah, and then Idaho is just next door. So I so appreciate all the support, uh, especially in Eastern Idaho. I mean, they always show 
some major love and it always means so much to me so well hopefully we'll yeah. see you up there again soon oh yes uh, definitely i'll be up there soon all right thank, thank you. you very much david archuleta